And this one is a competitive worker placement pickup and deliver type game where players are going to be upgrading their ship, flying around space, delivering different messages, and transporting aliens to wherever they need to go. But like I said, each player is going to have their own ship, and this is going to be represented by their own personal board. Your ship's going to have a bunch of different locations where you'll be able to perform different actions, and these can be upgraded throughout the game, either by flipping them over to the other side or purchasing new tiles to go into that action spot. At the start of your turn, you're going to be rolling your dice workers, and then depending on the values that you rolled, you're going to be assigning those to the locations on your board for the actions that you want to perform. Each of those tiles will have their own unique actions or resources generation available to you but then each of those tile locations will also be associated with some secondary actions that you can see printed around the perimeter of the board with a lot of these spaces having multiple for you to choose from you're also going to be using the ship to track things like your money your ship's damage as well as the energy reserve that you have left to fly your ship and of course these actions will allow you to do all sorts of different things like fly your ship around the outer reaches of space which is represented by a separate board that's made up of a bunch of tiles and anytime that you'll make a movement that moves you off of those tiles you'll just be drawing a new one and adding it to that board and I'll come back to everything that you can do on this board in just a second, but some of the other actions you could perform could be to heal your ship's damage, earn different resources, or spend those resources to gain additional tiles or even additional dice. And of course, you can also use these actions to deliver aliens, but in order to do that, you do need to move your ship to a location that has an alien on that hex. And unlike a lot of the other actions that usually require the same set of dice in order to perform that action, each alien will have its own specific requirements in order to pick that alien up. But if you're able to do so and then also deliver the alien to where they need to go, you're going to be gaining an associated alien card along with that. And this is going to give you victory points for the end of the game as well as a specific bonus. But there are a whole bunch of different icons that can be discovered out on the main board. And anytime a new tile gets added to that board, you're going to be populating that tile based on the icons that are there. And these can open up different wormholes that allow you to navigate through space a little bit easier, or different locations where you can pick up and deliver different packages, as well as asteroid fields that you can still move through, but you will incur a bit of damage. Delivering packages works very similar to the aliens, and you're also going to be gaining a card whenever you're able to do so. And this card is also going to be granting you victory points for the end of the game, as well as a special bonus or actions that you'll be able to perform in addition to your usual turn. Delivering these different packages and aliens are the main way to score victory points throughout the game, but players will also be gaining victory points for the upgrades that they're able to perform throughout the game, as well as any shared goals that they're able to complete. The player with the most victory points at the end of the game wins the game, and if you are interested in this one, you can check it out. I have links in the description below.